Before we got here, our little bit of beach was actually covered in some large bits of plastic. They look like they've been washed ashore from uh, a storm. But actually now you look at it and you think, no, this is just a build-up of little tiny bits of plastic everywhere that you go. It's Lip <laughs> so when we arrived the first thing we saw was all of this flotsam on the beach and that's obviously because of a storm that they had just a couple of days before we got here and this is like the vegetation that grows inland um, so I thought well I'd like my daughter to play on the beach so I spent a bit of time clearing it up <gasps> and we thought to ourselves well okay that's just a kind of one-off you know bits of plastic that wouldn't normally be here they were all this kind of thing. Lots of the piping that they use for irrigation, so we figured, okay, that's a kind of one-off. But really, every beach we've gone to, it's been covered in like tiny bits of plastic. And it's a real shame. So it got me thinking about environmental issues and your kind of part in that. And if you want to be an environmentalist, well, you need to be studying sciences. Isn't that right, my baby Florence? It's the best thing we can say. Why should you study physics? Why should you study chemistry? Why should you study biology? It's because it's your chance to save the world. The last generation kind of wrecked this planet or are on their way to doing so. It's just because this place does not have good enough disposal of their rubbish. So on the one hand, don't be an idiot and put your plastic just uh, anywhere you like. Don't litter. But on the other hand, it's got to be done by actual organised bodies of people, otherwise you get this problem. Of course it is just important not to be a jerk and throw your bottles in the sea. So I cleared up our little section of beach, just of the large bits of plastic, just so Baby Florence could have a little play. But really this is absolutely everywhere, just little bits of plastic. The last episode of Blue Planet 2 was all about this floating island of plastic and it was absolutely distressing and loads of people got really upset having seen that at the state of our oceans. But it's not really those individuals that can do anything about that, it has to be large organisations. If you want to get involved with that fight to reverse some of these changes that we've done to our planet, then what you need to do is you need to be studying sciences at the moment. So you need to be enjoying your GCSE sciences and you need to be making sure that you are doing A-level sciences to participate in actually inventing the things that are going to solve these problems in the future. It's not even uh, single-use plastics really that the real en enemy. It's that everything being a single-use plastic. Plastics are really, really convenient ways to package things, but it's just they're not the solution to package everything. That's the way we have been behaving in the last few decades since plastics were invented. We've been using plastic for everything because it seems so convenient. But really, we need to limit that now, and we need to be saying, well, what are the necessary plastics? Okay, nobody's arguing that a single-use syringe in a hospital is not a good use of plastic, but having a single banana wrapped in plastic, it's not really acceptable, is it? It's not really necessary to use plastics in that situation. That's what I'm saying, it's more than just you. It's more than just an individual change. It's more than just one nation. It's a group of nations. All nations need to be coming together, limiting the use of plastics, and also making a concerted effort to clean up the oceans and the plastics that are already out there. If it's littering, it's where it's going to end up. things like tubing for irrigation and different kind of plastic containers used for farming rather than what you first think of as being the kind of plastic in the ocean stuff that's been chucked overboard from ships but really on this beach this is really on these this beach and the biggest problem is just all these little tiny bits of plastic and that's too much for any individual to be clearing up but maybe it's her world now. 
but maybe I think it's a bit more important now that I've got this one in my life.